Hello, everyone. We are live. Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Welcome to Back Chat. Welcome to Yoga Berry, your Yoga for Scoliosis community. For those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I do have some special guests today from Germany, actually. Very excited to talk to them. But before I bring them on here, I just um, wanted to give you a little, uh, little something to put in your diary. So, you know, some of you are Shine members, and this is my, my VIP membership um, where we have a weekly yoga practice and you've got this full library of, of videos and all of that. We have a special guest in the, in the Shine membership and it's um, Beth Terranova. Now, she used to be a professional bodybuilder, um, weightlifting champion. She's got scoliosis, quite a severe scoliosis herself. Um, she's a Schroth therapist or Schroth therapist, however you want to say it. Um, she's a physical therapist. She's based in America. She's amazing. And she is coming to teach a two-hour workshop on strength training. So there's going to be some weights. We're not going to do heavy weight lifting, but some smaller weights and resistance bands and, and things like that. Um, she can answer all your questions about gym equipment and things like that. Things that I don't really have you know, much of a clue about as I teach yoga. Um, so that's happening on the 13th of November. So if you are not a Shine member, then you can sign up for the membership. If you just want to do her workshop and you're not interested in all the yoga stuff, then you could just sign up for one month and then cancel after the month um, if you want. Obviously, I don't want you to. I do want you to be part of the membership. Um, but yeah, that's coming up on the 13th of November. So make sure you mark this in your diary. And I'm going to say hello to everyone in the chat right now. So if you are here, um, I've got someone, Aigul, I think this sounds Turkish. I'm guessing you're from Turkey. Let me know where you're from. Um, and yes, so while we're talking, while I'm chatting to the guys, feel free to use the chat box as well. This is a community and um, it's always so good to, to hear where you guys are all over the world. And we are really um, exchanging our knowledge where we're making new connections as well. Sometimes it can be quite difficult with scoliosis when you do not have um, access to, to, all the, to all the knowledge and to all the experts. But let me stop all the, the talking. So um, Philip and Benny are here from the Asclepios Clinic in Germany. And um, this is a very, very famous clinic, or at least in the scoliosis world, it's a very famous clinic in Bad Sobernheim in Germany. And I'm sure they're going to tell us all about what they do. But let me just bring them on right now. So here they are. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time. Is it the is it the end of your work day right now? Yes, it is. Exactly. Normally, we would we would be at home. You would be you would be at home or having a beer somewhere, but okay. No, 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 no beer. Okay. <laughs> yes, when you come to London, right? Yeah. There, there, are, some, oh, there are some yeah. good pubs here. <laughs> okay, we heard about that. <laughs> yes. Sometimes the beer is a little bit warm, but uh, most of the time it's fine. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Good guys. So why don't why don't we why don't we start? Why don't you um, would you mind just kind of introducing yourselves a little bit to us and and uh, yeah, tell us about what you do at the clinic. Yes, uh, I think I would start. Um, first of all, thank you for your invitation and not to England and not to a pub so for the uh, for the online meeting here. And yes, my name is Benny Schmidt. And um, I studied sports science in Saarbrücken, it's a town in uh, Germany, and I was specialized on health and rehabilitation sports there. And uh, I'm working here for uh, eight years now, and uh, yeah, primarily I work as a therapist here in, in this clinic, 
And uh, additionally, we build a research department uh, in our clinic because we have the chance uh, to do the research on scoliosis here with so many patients. And uh, so this is another part uh, of my work here in this clinic. Excellent. Lovely. What about you, Philip? Okay, my name is Philip. Um, the surname is not important. <laughs> okay, and I'm studying in Mainz. I did the same than um, Benny. Um, and I work here since 14 years now. And of wow. course, my main. So you yeah. started when you were 12, right? <laughs> oh. uh, I shaved only for the interview. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but. Um, yeah, I, mainly I'm a therapist here, but um, um, a very important thing for me is also the social media channel. I, um, I'm doing that um, with the other girls, and um, yeah, that's a great thing for me, but perhaps we can talk later about that. And um, a very important thing for me is the physical therapeutic examination. So when the, the patients come to us for the first day, I do the examination with them, and um, we, we are very individual, so um, we tell them which type of scoliosis they are, so this is part of my work as well, um, and this is very interesting as well, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so guys, I can, I can see there's lots of you tuning in, um, so make sure to let us know that you can hear us okay, and that you can see us okay, that's always helpful um otherwise we'll we'll be we'll be talking and talking and then realizing that actually <laughs> but no, you, can can hear hear us. you can yeah. hear us i can hear you one. yes and and you can you can hear and see me okay isn't it and there's always a little bit of a delay anyway um okay so obviously we're, we're so your clinic is um I, I was saying it's, it's Asclepius, but really the real name is the the um, Katharina Schroth Clinic, isn't it? That was kind of the the original name. So those of I know some of you in the in the membership or some of you in this community will be very well aware of Schroth, as I'm a big fan and I do talk about it all the time. Um, but those of you who don't know, who is or who was Katharina Schroth and um, yeah, how come that that's the name of the clinic? Um, yeah, should I? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, Katharina Schroth was, was born in 1894 and uh, she lived to uh, 1985 or, or something. And uh, she had uh, scoliosis herself and uh, there was nobody who could help her. And uh, so she was thinking about, okay, how could I fix these deformities of my uh, body? And uh, tried to do some movements and tried to uh, develop some exercises. And uh, a very important thing was to check herself with mirrors. So the, the, the feedback, the visual feedback of mirrors was very important for her because um, if you yeah, if you have a scoliosis, you don't think that you are not straight. So um, in your mind you are straight, but if other patient uh, person could see you, you are not. And uh, so the the visual feedback and the, this um, closed loop principle is very um, very important. And uh, yes, as a as a as a young girl or as a young woman. She tried to do some movements, some exercises by herself, and uh, she noticed, okay, uh, these movements help myself. Uh, I don't have pain anymore. And uh, because of this, um, the, the Schroth method developed to, um, as you said, I think the most famous and the best known um, conservative uh, Schroth uh, scoliosis therapy um, yeah, in the world, I would say. Mm, yes. Um, so yes. she had quite a s severe scoliosis herself, you said. Yes, yes. she had a severe uh, thoracal scoliosis. So uh, at the beginning, there, for, sh for her, there were only thoracal scoliosis because these scoliosis you can see easily right. because mm. the, the body is shifted to one side. And if you see a person with a scoliosis, with a thoracal scoliosis, most time you can you you can um, yeah, see it very easily, and so 
Um, for her, first of all, the scoliosis was was in the th uh, thoracic part. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. More and more and uh, more science get in it and more um, yeah evidence based uh, things get get in it and so um, we 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 categorized in, in some different uh, different um, yeah parts like lumbar scoliosis, thoracic scoliosis, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and did she? Um, well, you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> Did, did she did she manage to reduce her scoliosis? Did she kind of make it? Did she make it better? I mean, something must have happened, right? Otherwise, she wouldn't have had the um, success, obviously, that that she had. Um, but so, yeah, what yeah, were the results? The the most important thing uh, you have to tell everybody with scoliosis is um, um, it's a it's a success to to stay with a with a curvature. So. Um, of course, everybody wants to improve, but uh, for our patients, we we tell them, okay, if you if you uh, keep this curvature as it is now, then it's such a great success. And for older patients, uh, it's a success to uh, to to get the the quality of life back again, mm -hmm. the, the pain release, the agility, the movement. And uh, I, I'm not sure, I, I wasn't there when Katarina Schroth invented this, but I think she, um, yeah, she felt better after the exercises, she could do better movements, she was more flexible, and uh, also the breathing was better. And so she, she noticed, okay, what I'm doing is fine, so I have to tell to the others. And um, then she invited more and more people to get in there. Uh, their home garden because the therapy most time was outdoors mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so they did it not alone again uh, they did it with many many uh, scoliosis patients yeah brilliant brilliant um good so so what what would you say what what is kind of your how does like a typical day for for you guys look is well first of all sorry lots of questions at the same time um, how big is your team? <laughs> like, what can yeah. we? Is it just the two of you, or are there hundreds of you? How many Bennies and Phillips are there around? Normally, normally, we don't need. Uh, no, we do need Benny and me, and that's enough. But there are twenty-eight other ones, and uh, they help us a little bit. No, just joking. Uh, there were thirty um, therapists uh, working here, and of course, staff in the kitchen and. Uh, and the nurses and, and whatever and i think with 200 um yeah about 150, 150 200, um, person working there and yeah about our day um our day stays at eight o'clock and um we have half an hour where we have an individual training uh, perhaps you have a, a bigger curve and uh, you want to do some additional training and then we can help them and the next one and a half hour is a group lesson. Um, so we have group with 12 patients, for example. You have your group for, for one week, and there is a special scoliosis pattern. Huh? Um, for example, there's a group with only toracal, thoracic scoliosis, and the other group is only lumbar scoliosis. Um, and we do special exercises for them for one and a half hours with, with one therapist. And then we have a cereal break for half an hour and the famous short muesli. Everybody is eating it here. Um, yeah, and after that, this is also half an hour with an individual training, like in the morning. And after that, we have functional training. And in the functional training, everybody has um, his exercises. He came for the physical therapeutic examination. And I tell them, okay, here you have eight or nine, 10 exercises, and you should train these exercises because they are perfect for the type of scoliosis you've got. And they train them for themselves, but we correct them, we tell them what to do, we help them. Um, it's very important that they do these exercises at home or some of these exercises. So it's a, it's a kind of um, self-training. Yeah, but um, of course we are always there. Nobody's doing an exercise alone. And we use, and he told you, the mirrors to help them. So Every warbler has a mirror so they can check them from the front and from behind. So they can see, okay, 
when I do, for example, a shift at the thoracic torical scoliosis, um, then it looks straighter than I feel. And, and this is a very, very uh, important thing. Yeah, this is the uh, functional exercises. And then they, we have uh, lunch time. And in the afternoon, it's the same one and a half hour for the crew and one and a half hour for the functional. So we have a very intensive um, training. So at least six hours a day. Um, yeah. And at five o'clock, we go home or do a back chat live uh, <laughs> chat with. Well, intensive for you and, well, for the patients, even more, right? <laughs> both, both, of course. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. for both. For both, yes. And um, so is it is it kind of an inpatient clinic? Do the, do the patients, are they staying with you or do they go home in the evening? Not with you okay. in particular. Yeah. But... Yeah, they have their room and they have their roommates. And this is uh, when they are under 18, they have their roommates. This is a very, very important um, thing because they are always together and uh, they get to know each other and mm -hmm. they find friends very easily. That's the main point here. And, and they stay here for three to five weeks in their room. Yeah, it's always inpatient. Um, right. Okay. Okay. And yes, I do. I do want to kind of get into obviously working how it is working with uh, um, with teenagers, of course. Um, but I do, I do always get asked um, about this. Um, what about adults, right? Do you do you also work with people over 18? Um, do they also have to bunk with someone else? Do they also have to stay with someone else in a room? And how does it work? Um, okay, we also have pe uh, patients over 18, of course, uh, and uh, they don't have to sleep uh, in a room with another patient, so they have a single room. Um, and uh, it's, it's very important, so we have 80% of our patients are between 10 and 16, and, right. uh, but also other per, per, uh, patients are uh, in our clinic, and um, they it's they don't have the same aim i would say the for the for the teenagers we want to stop the scoliosis we want to improve the curvature um but uh, for adult patients they are very structural so we can't say we we could move your spine a lot but for those it's very important to get as i as i already told the the quality of life is, is a big topic um yeah to yeah pay and, and uh, yeah, they are here to to get back here the the, the quality of life. Mm, yes, yes, absolutely. There's no, I, I, yeah, there's no end. So if you um, if you are, I don't know. We already uh, we also had patients with, with 90, uh, 90 years uh, ninety years. Um, if you are fit enough to uh, take part at the uh, therapy. You could come here, okay? And so it depends on on your uh, level of fitness. I would say there's no there's no end in age. Hmm. Uh, what well, what does that mean? What does that mean? Fit enough? You have to be able to get down on the floor and back up again, or what's your criteria? Yeah, that's the most important thing uh, to get on the floor, uh, to lie down on the floor, to get up uh, easily, I would say, uh, without getting more pain. And um, yeah, but we also adjust our, our therapy to older people. So we could say, okay, you, you don't have to do six hours a day, uh, just do three hours or two hours. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we, we could get an individual program. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And um, so is it quite uh, so what I see from your from your Instagram and which is brilliant, by the way. And, you know, I'm not I'm not so much on TikTok, but I know that you guys are. Um, <laughs> I, I feel yeah. that that what you are doing is not uh, it's not just it doesn't seem like it's just pure um short exercises you know from the yellow book and all of that to me it always seems like you're bringing in some other things as well so I, I i see things about yoga i see things about relaxation which you know obviously i'm very much into 
um I, I you know i see that they're dancing right they're doing different things so so what what is kind of your mm, yeah do you think it's important to to have a little bit of a mix of a variety of things yeah i think this is uh the the, the best thing of our clinic the multidisciplinarity we have so as you told there are kind of relaxing things and uh, the therapy but in our house, we have, uh, um, of course, the therapists, then we have the machine, uh, the, the doctors, and uh, there's also a school here in our house because uh, inpatient uh, patients will stay here for five weeks and, and they uh, won't get to school at home. So they could uh, do the, the school stuff here in our clinic with uh, real teachers and um, they also, we also have a psychological uh, department, department no, psychological, yeah. And um, because the you can say scoliosis is not only of a pedic problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a problem for the most teenagers of everything to how to get used to wear a brace, how to uh, tell the friends that the, that the spine isn't straight and what the problems are, what the problems could be in the future. And that's very important to talk all about these topics and not doing only the, the therapy because, as you told, the motivation is very hard for, for people um, who don't have any pain. And so you have to make clear, uh, if you do it now, then perhaps later uh, you will feel better. But this is a it's difficult for the teenagers mm. and of course the, the, the fun and the uh, yeah. yeah that, that's about the dancing thing um, so uh, of course they are much more motivated when they can do uh, trendy dances with us and perhaps we can compare or combine them uh, with Schroth so we uh, this this makes them more motivated yeah so it's a company they lose fear at home when they see, okay, there is a TikTok account, they are on TikTok, what? Um, and, and they can say, okay, I want to do a dance as well. Um, and I think this motivated them additionally. And um, yeah, they, this make them come to us and say, okay, this is a cool thing and I want to be with them and I want to be part of them. Mm. Very important point. Yes, that, so, that sounds to me like the community um aspect is is really important as well isn't it of course you you when you when the when the teenagers um go to the hall and, and we tell them okay do the exercise and we stand only there and watching i think it's better to sometimes do jokes with them or, or laugh with them or uh, i think we have many patients say okay i want to be a physiotherapist as well because it's so cool working with, with us so we all, all see what we are working or what we do when we're working and have fun and um yeah this makes our, our work special mm, yes a good, absolutely a good sign for this uh, is when when the patients the young patients arrive here um they they cry sometimes they cry because they have to leave their parents uh, now at home and um but we notice if they have to leave the clinic they cry even more okay? yeah. because they found so many friends and uh, they found so many friends with the same uh, problems. Um, mm. if, you have, if you have special problems in your everyday life and uh, you can, yeah, you can talk about these problems, of course, better with people who have the same problems and so solutions for these problems uh, are, are built here in this clinic or are made here in this clinic. And also about braces, it's very important because it, at school they are the only one. Okay, I got a brace, I don't want to wear the brace. I, I want to hide it, I want to keep it at home. And here they come to the clinic and see, oh, many, all the patients are wearing a brace. So it's normal and this yeah. is... Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so what, 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 what would you say, what is kind of your biggest uh, challenge kind of in, in the work that, that you do? What's kind of the... The hardest part about it, um, I think, to um, to keep up the motivation of the younger, um, but also tell them the 
uh, how necessary it is to to do something for the pain now to to sit in a conscious posture for example not hanging in, in the curve or uh, or um and, and start now um yeah betty told you no pain yet and they they don't sometimes don't see the necessity to to start now and and i think this is the, the main point to get them to say okay now it's time to do something and um, you have to go on home at home and, and keep that motivation. We have many patients, they are eight, seven uh, and to 10, and we cannot do the same program with them. They have a kind of junior training and they do some games in the group or just have one tube lesson. So it's very individual. It's very special to, to um, you know, collect them where they are. Mm. And it's, I think it's also important. The most difficult thing is um, not to put so much pressure on them, um, but to tell them, okay, it's necessary that you start now, that you wear your brace now, that you do your exercises now. But if you say you have to do it, then everybody knows. So if I was in puberty and somebody told me you have to do it, uh, I, I totally did the, the difference. The opposite. The opposite, yeah. yes. Yeah. That, so that's just the, being a teenager, right? That's what you have to do. You just have to do the opposite of <laughs> what yeah, you're being yeah. told to do. And that's okay. So we have to deal with it. And I think um, the, the motivation here in the clinic to, uh, to, to motivate the, the patient is not very difficult for us because they motivate themselves. Mm. They see other patients uh, doing it well. They Perhaps uh, other patients say, okay, if it is my fifth time I'm here. When I come, uh, my scoliosis was 40 degrees and now I'm uh, about 30 degrees and I'm working so hard all the day. And uh, these reports, I think, will motivate the others. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask this. So do they? what happens when they go home? Do they, um, they're kind of expected to keep up with their program and then they come back or how does it work yeah they got exercise they get of course they got um, information from us how to do exercises at home what are your most important exercises for example and we tell them okay perhaps four or five exercises you can do at home and you should do at home um, but it's also important perhaps to have a short uh, therapist at home um, as we uh, we uh, educate educate um, therapists here as well and so okay. they can say oh, there's a therapist for me near my my hometown so I can go there and, and he's checking if I do it right and um, then they do it at home hopefully and um, our younger person come um, back very very often after one year and uh, repeat the presentation so we advise them to do the exercises five times a week for 30 minutes and uh, additionally they should go to the physiotherapist at home um, that is a short therapist too and uh, in Germany there are many short therapists so uh, if you if you have a look or if you if somebody uh, listen to us who needs a short therapist just contact the clinic we have a list uh, that's sorted to the postlight sign um, <laughs> postcode Postcode. Postcode. <laughs> yes, postcode. And uh, then we could tell them, okay, just try this uh, therapist or this therapist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I can see there's loads of you watching right now. Um, I don't, the chat is a little bit quiet. I don't know if that's because of technical issues or because most people are on their phones, um, which could be. But obviously, if you have any questions, guys, then feel free to ask them in the chat. But what I did want to, to say by what you said earlier about the the motivation, obviously, as well with, um, you know, the, the teenagers and they're not having pain just yet. And they they, you know, they're like, oh, you know, I my mom, my mom sent me here. I, I've got to wear this brace. It's really stupid. And now I have to do those stupid exercises as well. I You know, I work with the people who are at the other end of the spectrum. You know, they are. Um, in their in their 40s in their 50s in their 60s and the number one thing they say is i wish i had done something earlier 
That's the number one thing that they say, you know, I wish I had started to look after myself early enough. And this is why I think it's such an amazing thing that you do, even if they don't, you know, and as you say, they, they do probably realize why they're at the clinic and they have all their motivation. But even if they don't keep it up afterwards, it will be somewhere, right? It's, it's like a, putting something in their backpack, like a little toolkit, and they will be able to use it afterwards, right? Maybe not, maybe they don't need it when they're 20, but maybe they do when they're, you know, 40 or 50, isn't it? Yes, hopefully. And staying here for, for four weeks, um, uh, even if they don't want to, and even if they are not motivated, um, there, there will be something uh, in their heads. And uh, Philip uh, said something about the conscious posture. Yeah? If, they, if they hear about the conscious posture uh, four weeks every time, and all the therapists say, okay, be in your conscious posture, think about your conscious posture, then I, I think um, even if they are at home and they are alone and they are, uh, and they are, I would say, hanging in their scoliosis, I think there will come something in their mind and they will say, okay, there was something in the clinic. I shouldn't be like this. And um, yes, it's, I, it's a bad word, but it's a little bit like brainwashing, I would say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good, good, yeah. good brainwashing, right? Good brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah absolutely absolutely and sometimes it, it you know it is that that repetition right and if you hear it often enough it just um and if you do it often enough it becomes normal as well right and, and as you told the mixture of the patients so if there are older patients that's that's uh, important too because they talk to the teenagers and the younger patients and they say now it's time for you and uh, look at me, look at my back. Uh, I couldn't move anymore. Do you want to look like that? That's not really good to, to talk like that. But if, if you are very, uh, yeah, they, are, they, are, they have the same problem. And so the, the, the teenagers think, OK, perhaps if I don't want to look like that, I have to, uh, I have to do something. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we've got a question from Aaron here. Saying great interview. Can we have some examples of adult patients at the clinic? Have you got any? Um, I don't know. Maybe you can you can talk about a, a case where where someone, you know, was with you who was maybe a little bit older, and the results they saw. Um, uh, we have um, we really have patients, older patients who, who who come to us very very often. I think we have patients who have been here 30 times because they just feel better when they go home. They say, okay, I did nothing for the last half year and I come here and now I'm motivated again and they can go home. And I think they won't come again uh, when they say, okay, sure, it's nice to be here for weeks. Uh, but um, it helps them to release the pain. And, and this is a very, very important point for the, for the adults. And, um, and we have a very old man this was one of my favorite and he come here and i just want to show it he goes like like that he, he told he always told me that when he's working with his wife she tell him okay the the sky looks great he never could get up and uh, we do so many exercises with him to 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 be straight to to um to uh, to straighten up yeah and and he, he get home like that and he sent me pictures yeah, how he was skiing um, half a year later and yeah this was uh, one of the most beautiful and best things here in my 40 years to, to see him uh, doing that um, so you can reach very much we, we cannot say somebody's coming here and of course you go home and have 10 degrees less your scoliosis um, but um, this depends on many, many things like flexibility and and and. But we have many, many patients who go home and say, "I have no pain now," and and this was the first time for five years. Um, yeah, this is the main point in our. Yes, thing. yes, absolutely. And I I always say a, a straight spine is is a little bit overrated because you know it really it's about how you feel in your. Um, how you feel and how you move in your body, right? There's lots and lots of people who've got dead straight spines and 
they have lots of back pain and they've got lots of issues. Um, so just because it, it, it's straighter doesn't mean that it makes you any happier at the end of the day. So really what our focus really should be is is moving well and, and be well in the in the body, isn't it? Yeah. So um, uh, <laughs> Stefan Wolf is saying, hearing you guys talking and doing some some short exercises. Well done. Top marks. <laughs> Very good. Um, Laura saying, but we, when we were younger, we used to feel so unbeatable and powerful that felt that nothing bad could ever happen to us. That's, that's kind of, you know, that's the, that's the difficulty, isn't it? You're kind of when, and you know, I remember being 15, 16, you, you don't think that you will ever age. You know, you will just always be young and flexible and, and all of that. And, you know, it's you don't really think that that far in advance. And 40 seems ancient when you're 50, when you're 15, of course. Yes. And I think that's that's also important. The, the, the educational part in this clinic is very high. So we want our patients to go home and know everything about their scoliosis. They don't have to know Thing about scoliosis itself, but they have to know everything about their scoliosis, and um, they they have to know that uh, the scoliosis is a chronic disease. So it, it's not enough to do three, four, five weeks in our clinic, and then everything is fixed. Um, the the short therapy will be a part of their life, yeah, and this is very important. And so the motivation for this is very important too. If we put too much pressure on them. They would say, okay, I won't do anything. Uh, I want to hear, I don't want to hear anything about scoliosis anymore. And um, then we, yeah, this is the worst, the worst point we, we could uh, get to and um, tell them what is scoliosis, um, how does it work, how does it, is it rotated? So they, they could think about, they could be conscious in their everyday life um, and not to harm the scoliosis or not to, to get it worse. Yes, yes, absolutely. So um, Malin is saying it's very enjoyable to listen to you. One question, at what point um, does stay in hospital make sense? Or at what point is one advised to do so? And, you know, I don't know, Malin, where, where you're from. Maybe maybe you can let us know. Um, but in, in Germany, I would imagine that uh, you're being referred is that right? You're being referred. You maybe go to your your doctor, and then you're being referred to the clinic. Or how does it yeah. work? Yes. Yeah. Exactly like that. So we have a the, in Germany we have a special uh, medicine system, and we have an insurance and social insurance that pays for uh, a rehabilitation if it if it's ne necessary. So you go to an orthopedic doctor, and if uh, the doctor says okay. Um, you have to go to a re rehabilitation, you have to do something about your scoliosis, um, uh, then uh, the insurance will pay for this. But you can also say, I want to stay two, three, four, five weeks in this clinic, I will pay for itself and that will work too. Hmm. Yes. So and I, th I, I think, you know, I, I think um, what, what she or he is asking is kind of like, how do I know when this is necessary? Right. Um, and I don't know, to me, this would be kind of a personal decision, isn't it? And, and also, if you're if you're willing to be somewhere for <laughs> for four or five weeks. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I would say um, the adults, it's very easy. They um, the, the pain gets started and, and they and they perhaps get an X-ray and they OK, there is a scoliosis or perhaps they know that. And say say okay i want to do something against the pain so i would say this is important and for the younger patient uh, we have um, a patient with 15 degree scoliosis um, and it's exactly necessary like you have 30 degrees uh, so um, i think a stay in the hospital is, is always important for uh, yeah got to know to learn with this curve got to know to improve this curve and, mm. uh, it's I Age is important. So the age and the problems you have. If I have an eight-year-old patient with 15 degrees, I, I would say, okay, you should come every year. You should wear perhaps a brace 
some say, okay, 20 degrees, um, you have to wear a brace. But if you are eight, then the progression could be um, yeah, very hard. Uh, but if you are grown up and uh, you, you're an adult and you have 25 degrees, and um, normally, so statistically, the, the scoliosis won't uh, get worse, statistically. And yeah. uh, so the, the 30 degrees mark uh, could be an important mark if you say if you're grown up and under 30 degrees, then everything could be okay. It's only statistically, but um, if you are very young and there is a scoliosis, then it's the point to come every year and uh, to have a look and, and to focus uh, on this topic. Yeah. Mm, yes, absolutely. Uh, so Jean-Luc is saying, how do you work with someone who has severe osteoporosis and severe scoliosis? What techniques are used? Yeah, of course, um, severe scoliosis, I, I told uh, in the beginning that we have, uh, for example, some individual um, situations where, where we can do um, more intensive exercises, for example, um, but we, we do it exactly in the same way than, than with other patients. We have some individual treatments, um, for example, with the thoracic, thoracic scoliosis is um, in the Schrägerzug diagonal traction, it's, it's a very intensive to, to put the thoracic spine to the other side again. Um, and the osteoporosis, of course, uh, we have only always patients with osteoporosis, and of course, you have to be a little bit more careful, I would say, because um, sometimes we um, push and de rotate with our hands um, very strong. And of course, with osteoporosis, you have to take care of it a little bit more. Yeah. But that's the only difference. So, I would say the therapeutical corrections, uh, you shouldn't do so much with osteoporosis but um, if you if you yeah, if the patient learns how to use the muscles to derotate and uh, to, to minimize the curvature um, then it's not it's not careful uh, it's not dangerous because mm -hmm. I try to help and push too much and then uh, it could be careful but uh, yeah normally normally we, we don't injure our uh, patients more. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. Um, is there is there anything? Um, do you do you have kind of any any tips or anything anything practical for our for our viewers? Maybe some things that they can that they can do at home or things that they maybe shouldn't do. Um, it's first of all, it's it's very important to to do something to do sports, to do any kind of sports. It, it mustn't be something about scoliosis. Um, um, this is, is important. We don't say, okay, don't do this sport. We have many, many doctors who say, okay, don't play tennis, don't go riding or whatever, but we don't like that. We, we say, okay, do sports, go out, do something for you. It's very, very important to keep flexible. Um, and, um, but on the other side, you cannot say, oh, I, I have scoliosis, I like this exercise, I would try this exercise. You cannot try all the exercises you, you see because perhaps you have a thoracic scoliosis, but yeah. the, the, um, the exercise is more for the lumbar part. And mm -hmm. because of this, we, we always tell them it's better to have a therapist, a short therapist near you, which tell you, okay, your thoracic spine, though this is not a good exercise for you. So don't go to the internet and say, oh, short exercises should help, so I will do that. That's not the best way. Um, so a short therapist is um, a good. Yeah. Yes. And and I can, uh, you know, I, I did um, I did quite a few few sessions for myself as well. And it is really, it's very, very specific, isn't it? And even if you, you know, you do say you, you group them into thoracic scoliosis and lumbar scoliosis, but even within those groups, there are differences, right? Of course, of course. But that, that's not enough just to do these groups. And I, I think every patient will, will say, um, okay, I got this individual uh, technique uh, and I should do this and another one should do another movement. And uh, yeah, so doing, yeah, 
buying the, the short uh, book and uh, choosing some exercises uh, won't be uh, won't be very helpful. So uh, a psychotherapist uh, would be, I think, a good a good yes. uh, term. Yeah. And it, it, it's, and yes, it's probably a better investment as well. <laughs> the book is very expensive. You might as well buy yourself some sessions of <laughs> short therapy. <laughs> Right. And being conscious all the day. This is, I think, the most important thing. Um, that you know how your scoliosis works, how it's rotated, how the curvature goes to, and uh, having this in mind all the time. Because all we are sitting at the moment, yeah, and uh, don't sit uh, so too long and sit in a good posture. And these are all the things a short therapist could tell you too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes absolutely. Uh, so Jean-Luc is saying he's doing short therapy at the moment. Are there any questions um, he should ask? And then Aaron oh. is asking, do you provide any online and rem remote therapy classes? Um, the first question was what, what he should ask his therapist. Ah, yes. Yeah, uh, when we already told if, if it's an L scoliosis, if it's a thoracic scoliosis, if his if his hip is for perhaps not in the middle, is the the hip rotated? And there are so many spe special things. We have patients; they are symmetrical, for example, and the other ones are asymmetrical. And you you have to to. To take care of so many points, and uh, when he's a good short therapist, normally he tell you what you you should do. Yes, yeah. they they will uh, hopefully guide you exactly yeah. guide you through. Oh, a little bit carefully doing short, so don't don't be afraid of doing something wrong. Okay, even if you do a short exercise, the therapist has told you, and you do some mistakes, um, it doesn't mean that you do something wrong. Perhaps the uh, the effect or the effectiveness is not uh, as 100 percent, but it's 80 percent, and that's better than doing nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, many patients that, that told us I didn't do a lot uh, the last three months because I was not sure how to, how to do it, and uh, I don't want to do mistakes. And this yeah. is, this is uh, wrong. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Don't don't they get me even started on this. I I always get people who are saying, you know. I, um, I, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing any yoga. I'm not doing any exercise because I'm scared to do something wrong. And I always yeah. say, you know, that's probably the worst thing that you can do is, yeah. is doing nothing, you know, um, start somewhere. Yeah. Right. And then you can, you can always improve afterwards. Um, so what about remote classes or online sessions? Any plans for that? Um, so on, on our Instagram channel, we, we do some live short challenges, or uh, no challenges, um, we do sessions. some short live sessions. So for example, I, I introduce that um, session, I would tell them what to do, and another person for perhaps, and he's doing this exercise, you can see, okay, what is he doing, how should I do this exercise, and mostly there's a patient, they have been in our clinic, and they are at home, and, and um, copy this uh, exercises and listen to my introduction and mm. um, now we, we only do it in German but there are some English patients who say okay perhaps you can do it in an international uh, way of doing it in English um, so when they are um, enough or when you say okay there are 15 20 of them of course we can uh, do it in English as well but um, and now it is mostly in, in German mostly but you have to know short. Yeah. So if yes. you are new and you have nothing heard about short uh, before, then it wouldn't make sense to to join this uh, sessions because we are we are using some special short words and yeah. we don't, for example, we don't have the right and the left. So we have the T side and the L side, and uh, we are we are talking about uh, breathing some, spots, yeah. something like that, and and. And you can, you of course you can join and listen, but it's impossible to to to, to join or, or do the exercise when you've not been at the short term. Mm. Yes, yeah, absolutely. 
Good, guys. I don't. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, I'm just conscious that we've been chatting for ages. It's it's yeah, been no. so much fun. <laughs> um, how how can people find you? Maybe you tell us the the Instagram. Maybe someone can write it into the chat as well, um, because that's you know I I put it in the description as well. But it's I think that's a brilliant place to start with you guys. But what's what's how can people get in touch with you? Uh, I think this is no problem about Instagram to just type us a message and, and then we will answer. Uh, so the Esclavius uh, Katharina Schroth, I think it's, um, I don't know the correct name. Asclepius Clinic but so happy, but you, you already had it in your description, isn't it? But our clinic homepage is very easy. So if you yeah. go to the clinic homepage, it's uh, scoliosis.com. No, no way. Not, it's scoliose.com in, in, in German. Okay. Scoliose.com. Oh, I didn't realize. Well done for buying that domain. Yeah. And, and there, uh, if you can't find the Instagram uh, account, uh, there you can uh, join Instagram too, I think. Yeah. Um, but I think it's no problem um, to, to find this clinic. And Instagram. And when you type us a message, write us a message, and we cannot answer them. We, we put it to a person who can answer that. So um, that should be absolutely no problem if you want to some, know something about the stay here or scoliosis general. Brother, just write me a message. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Really fun and really nice to meet you as well. And thank you, everyone who um, was watching. Laura is saying, could you write the at of Instagram? It's, <laughs> I think by the time I've written it down, Laura, it's uh, going to be 20 minutes later. It's quite a, it's quite a mouthful. Asklepios <laughs> Clinic Bad Sobernheim. <laughs> Okay, they couldn't have just called it scoliosa.com on Instagram, of course. Um, but yeah, I will I will add it into the description. It's it's a great Instagram account. It's always fun. I always just love watching all your your dance videos and your little your little TikTok sketch, sketches and things like that. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We say you in London. We'll yes. Stay on for a minute, and I just say. Goodbye oh, to okay. everyone else. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.